Which type of channel to choose with Microsoft Teams? That is what this video is about. But first, my name is Paul Kaisers. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I own a company called KB Works. If you ever are going to use Teams, Copilot or SharePoint and you need help, please contact me. Well, let's go into the video. Yes, well, I have already started up Microsoft Teams here <clears throat> and <clears throat> here we see uh, we have a team called 260324 and we have a general channel. This is a channel you always get. It's a channel accessible for everyone in the organization. Now, most of the time you want to have a new channel about a specific topic so here we go we will start a new channel and then we will say add a channel <clears throat> here we will give it a name so in this case i will uh, call it uh, test uh, channel just a name uh, i leave the description empty and here we have three channels which we can choose so which would i choose um, and this is uh, something that depends and i'm going to um, show you one thing i wouldn't choose uh, later on in this video but first we have the standard channel which means everybody in the team has access to the channel so they can read and uh, edit uh, all the conversations in the team so it's not like uh, it's permission based everybody knows exactly the same on the same channel then we've got share channel and a share channel is a channel which is um, uh, shared within the organization but is also available to share with externals but there's a bit big caveat here because you can share it with any organization but your settings have to be set open by the organization you share it with and the organization you are in so if they don't have it open or they don't allow uh, external access uh, for that you uh, cannot use the shared channel to work and collaborate with externals here so um, for internal i think it's a great option um, if we create uh, well first i will go to the other one uh, the private so here we have private and private is telling you only people with specific access will have or only specific people within the team will have access to this channel so um, if we create this uh, and for example now I'm creating this private would create this private channel this means that I am the owner of that channel and in my case I'm also the owner of the team but if you are just a member and you are going to create a private channel uh, you will have the channel for yourself if you leave the company uh, nobody can access it except an admin of course in the end but nobody knows that there is a private channel this is really uh, um, a thing i think is not good um, next to it it creates a, a separate sharepoint site and it has a lot of things i don't like so i would never use private channels if you have them uh, you have them and then i would look at a way to migrate them to a shared channel for example uh, because i think that's the way to go and by the way if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share this video with everyone well what I think is really important here is that this private channel is really like isolated which can be a good thing but really think about it most companies I know turn off 
uh, the private channel option. So you don't even have the private channel option. But they also turn on, uh, turn off the share channel option, which I think is not a good idea. And I will explain why. So here you go. If I go to a share channel, I get directly the option to share this channel with everyone on the team. That's fine. Everybody in the team may access it, but also other people I want to have access to it. So here we go. I will share this. Uh, I will create this channel. Once it's created, I can say, okay, I want to share the test channel and I can type an uh, email address. So I'm going to share it with Debbie and I can say she's an owner or a member. So in this case, I'm going to uh, say that she's a member. I'm going to share it. So now we have a shared channel. This channel is accessible by, let's see who it is. We are going to manage the channel. And here we see who can uh, access the channel. So what you directly see is that I'm the owner, which is still good. It's like a private channel, but I also added some members who are not member of the team. And I also added a team because 260324 is our team. Um, but I can also send invites. Uh, let's see where it is. Um, share with a team you own or share with a team. So imagine you have a, a team, but you have like a collaboration between HR and IT delivery because they need to deliver the laptops. So you want to have uh, some onboarding channel, for example. Here you could choose to uh, share with a team and in this case, if I say share with a team, I can give the name uh, of the owner of that team. So I need to know that. That's one thing that still I think is hard because sometimes you don't know it. Uh, but here you would uh, type the name uh, of somebody who's the owner. If they uh, select, um, I will check if I can show you that uh, directly. One moment. So meanwhile, I created the invite directly from Debbie so you can see what happens. So what happens is she will send me an invite. So here you see I got two, I don't know why, but I'm going to accept the invite. So I'm invited as uh, the owner of a team to add a team to a sh shared channel. <clears throat> So all people of that team will get access to the shared channel. So here you see all the teams I'm an owner of. So uh, in this case, quite a lot. And let's say I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to say, okay, uh, add, uh, add this shared channel. So what happens is it will validate and um, now you see that everybody will have access to this <coughs> to this channel. So here you will see test channel, and I don't know why I don't see the order channel uh, because I should see an extra channel now. Maybe it's due to I will accept. Oh, hold on. <laughs> What you see, and I'm going to do it for security reason, just like this to add it as well. What you see is uh, everyone uh, will have access, but that's not true because what happens is it's pending at the owner for approval. So I will approve it right now on the Debian side and I will do the same so you can see what happens. So. Um, I will approve, approve, 
and you will see that um, it's approved and if we go to the 2603 uh, uh, 24 you see that I have test Debbie so now we see uh, what happens with the shared channel so what this basically means that you have way more possibilities than just adding a private channel which you cannot change to any team anymore um, so I was going to show you what happens if I uh, invite uh, someone to this uh, channel uh, so here we go again to the uh, manage channel uh, share uh, with a team and I will undo Debbie again and send the invite so I'm just clicking uh, that um, uh, she accepts it and I'm going to select the team uh, that I did in a different browser so that's why you don't see it but here you see as um, uh, poll that Debbie accepted the invite and she wants to have the shared channel added to the masterclass private so here I have uh, the type it's private to members so um, I cannot see who the members are but I have still have the option to approve or deny it. So this is a very better way to uh, have um, uh, control of your uh, private slash shared channel. So I would really advise no longer use private channels, use shared channels if you need some isolation. Um, because the shared channel can also be like this. So here we go to the uh, manage channel. I'm going to, and um, in my case, let's see how many people are in this team because that's that's the first uh, thing I want to know. Uh, let's see members. There are two members, uh, Debbie and Kanneke. So let's see in my uh, channel manage channel who has access and which members so here you see that in this case Konica doesn't have access but I could give her access so that's that's something uh, you can move around with with this channel there are still some limitations on like uh, the uh, planner app you cannot add a planner app to this uh, uh, site still not uh, maybe that's going to change in the future i'm not sure about this but i think this is already a way forward uh, so please 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 don't use private channels anymore that's my biggest uh, catch of the day so i hope you liked this video and if you liked it don't forget uh, to like and subscribe to this channel and uh, if you want to see more you can click on this uh, video and you will see another great video thanks for watching and see you next time